Hello and welcome to this module for teachers new to eighth grade social studies, um, specifically American Studies 8. I'm Tiff and I will be leading you through um, this module. Our outcomes are learning what is taught in US History 8 and American Studies 8, um, looking at anti-bias, anti-racist practices, expected events, CPS teachers, and then starting to engage in planning for unit one, the first unit. Okay, so the first question people ask is what's the difference between these two courses? Um, the key answer is that American Studies 8 incorporates the US History 8 curriculum. There's a framework um, that students in both courses are accountable because students in both courses have to take the MSDE exam. And then in addition, um, teachers of American Studies 8 will look for opportunities to enrich and extend the content, product, and or process of existing lessons in US 8. Um, American Studies 8 also includes some specific components. Uh, there are extensions that are already part of the US 8 curriculum that are required. And then there are literature connections. There's two um, book opportunities. One in semester A, really in unit two, is required. That's Eric Armstrong Dunbar's Never Caught. And then there's an optional book study in semester B, um, A Misplaced Massacre by Ari Kalman. And then the idea is to have an end of year culminating showcase to feature some of the public history projects that students um, created. And if you click on these links, you'll see the course frameworks or the scope and sequence uh, for each of these courses. And that's what you follow when teaching um, one or both of these courses. All right, so we're going to go through an overview of our main curriculum. That's the basis of both U.S. History 8 and American Studies 8. Um, some of our key goals is to have our skills infused throughout um, all content in all the units. We want to make sure we have relevant connections between the present and the past. So often units will start out with some enduring understandings that bring in those relevant pieces. And we want to make sure that everything students are doing is aligned to the expectations regarding content and skills for the MSDE exam that students take in May. Um, it'll be operational for the first time in May of 2023. Okay, so the framework, what is it and how do you use it? Um, if you open up this link here, the framework is the digital living document that describes what is the course of study for US History 8. Uh, there are four units. It is aligned to the MSDE standards and assessment limits, what will be assessed. It tells you not only what content to teach, but also what skills to teach. And it has the links for all created materials and resources and lessons. So it's a one-stop shop. This document will get you everything you need. Um, on the front page um, for each unit, it has the overview, the unit question, the enduring understandings, the essential questions. There's an MYP connection to help schools who have MYP. And then there's the reading and writing skills for each unit. Um, there is a skills framework um, that is separate, but it's also included in each unit overview so you can see where the skills are taught in the core course. And then after that overview page, you have the um, lesson sequences in each unit, which list the specific objectives um, and the number of sessions that they should approximately take, as well as having linked resources for all the common instructional tasks. Each objective is numbered. So the first um, number is the grade level, so grade eight. Then comes the unit, 8.1. So that's eighth grade, unit one. If you add another point one, that's lesson sequence one. And then finally, objective one. And the final component lists all the assessment limits from the state. And this will help you see that, yes, we're covering the things that are required for students to know for that test in May.